was going to be announced one time on the show, and they said singer songwriter, and I said I think I'm actually songwriter singer. I don't think I'm a singer that writes. I think I'm a writer that just happens to sing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talk about it, bro. I sing most days. I write every day. Um, Welcome back, watchers and listeners. You are now tuned into the new favorite three. This is the Triple S Show, the Steel Shop and Steel Show podcast. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. Yo, yo, Mr. Honest, Mr. Thomas signing in. Let's go. Can I fly on? Food for thought entertainment. Everybody love everybody. And it's your boy, Big Banks in the building. Y'all know how we do. We got a very good thing going on today, Mr. Thomas. Come on, man. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Tonight, we got rocking with us. We got a singer, songwriter, producer, engineer, musician, self-made man, soulful dude, Mr. Motai in the building with us tonight. How you doing, brother? Already. Hey, pleasure right. being here. Pleasure being here, fellas. Oh, pleasure's ours, man. Pleasure having you, man. Man, listen, Motai, Motai. And uh, you fellas out there may not know who he is, but I bet you goddamn girl know who the hell he is. I tell you that, sure. man. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. This this man. Uh, this man. Uh, you know, we we got a little history. Met him uh, a good bit of years back. Uh, as so with mm-hmm. Mr. Thomas, even even uh, Mr. Holmes, he's done heard his name in the wind. So, um, sure. when you when you talk sure. some R and B and talk talk about some soulful music, man, and um, did some good tunes, some good vibes, man. You you talking about time, man. This guy. Not just R and B too, because he got a little spit in them too. Yeah, he got a little flow in them too. So yeah, yeah, he got uh, a little spit. Know, well-rounded, very well-rounded man, talented artist. Um, multi man, it's a pleasure to have you with us on the Triple S show, man. You know, for sure. Check it out, man. Let's, let, yeah, let let's talk about it. Uh, hometown, man. Where you from, man? How you, where you repping, man? Hey, man, I'm from Georgia. I'm from GA. Um, uh, I live out in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But um, yeah, you know, we definitely yeah. rep that GA. Word up. That's what's up. GA, GA, GA in the building. But he, 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 yes, sir, he, 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 he being modern, man. We, we, we adopted him back then in, in Chucktown when he, when he was down there, man. Yep. And, uh, yes. You know, yes. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to Charleston. Word up. Charleston, South Carolina, up. man. That's what's up. But more time, man. I've, I've been telling the fellas, man, and, and, uh, you know, and I, I, I'm sure they know, man, but you got so many projects, um, and this thing stretched back, so, uh, man. It ain't it said how long, man? How long you been doing this thing, man, and doing your thing, bro? Man, uh, since I can remember, I've been doing it professionally since two thousand. Okay, that's yeah, that's that's, that's twenty plus. Hmm. Yeah. that's twenty plus years. Mm-hmm. In, yes, in. and now uh, the yes. work shows. The work shows. I mean, if you check them out on all the all the social sites, all all the major platforms, man, the work is there to show you. That this man had been putting in that work for 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 so many years, and uh, uh man, just to see the growth, like we talk about it all the time on the show, man. Uh, you know, people that we know, um, and got personal connections with, to see the growth, uh, to see where they started from to where they at now, and uh, to follow mm-hmm. folks, and to see you know all the accomplishments, you know, it it kind of means some, you know, and uh, that's what we kind of promote. Yeah, on the Triple S show, though, we want the people to know. We want the people to get inside to see who this, who the person is outside yeah. of, of um, you know, whatever their crafts is. You know, give people yeah. better understanding how people getting down for real out here, man. And uh, but uh, yeah. so yo, so how did you um, how did you get started in the music? Like not well, even before, like it was professionally just getting your feet wet in it. You know, um, I'm from a small town in South Georgia, uh, Vidalia. 
Georgia. And um, I, I remember I was doing my thing independently. And then um, I put out this record and called Looking for Love, and um, which would become my first gold single. But um, I, I put out this song looking, I put out this song looking <laughs> for love. And in two, it was between 2000 and 2002. <laughs> But I put that record out, and um, before we signed the deal, we sold over 200,000 copies. And so, you know, nice. I tell people, um, if, your, if your goal is a major deal, I like to say to young artists, you don't have to go knock on doors. All you got to do is sell a lot of records, you know, and um, cool. yeah. yeah, they'll find you. So, yeah. That's right. Yeah, and that's the that's the out that's the record that you say you just you celebrating the gold on and that yeah, I be, yeah. that that I believe is is uh, uh coming up to maybe about what a half a million uh half a million views I think on uh on YouTube now over over a million yeah over over a million okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. wow Straight up. so and uh you know and that's a, that's a major accomplishment man for um for it's for any artist man it's a blessing man to see and uh, I mean but like. Like we say all the time here, you put that goddamn work in, bro, and and uh, you stay true to your craft, man, and true to yourself, man. Them things like that do happen, so you know. Indeed. You know, y'all, yes, don't, y'all don't give up, and we're talking to a guy who's been doing this, you know, twenty plus years, and uh, you know, you never stop. You you keep pushing, and uh, you know, hard work does pay off. And uh, minus minus that record, bro, you got uh, you have albums as uh, heart heart on hearts on fire. I think that's a, yes. a, a fourteen song album. Um, yes, and uh, that I listened to it, and uh, I said, "Damn, this is a little different because it got a little, it got like a different feel to it." Do you had any diff- different inspiration going into that album? Because it's, it's just it's a little jumpy, little feel good under the tree type shade music, man. I I kind of like the vibes of that that album, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, you had a certain inspiration going into that album, or you just doing what you do? Yeah, best, it's man? always. Yeah, it's always life, man. Um, I just like to kind of, when I write songs, I, I just take a picture of things going on around me. And um, yeah, so sometimes it's my personal story. Sometimes somebody might, I might have a friend or family member be dealing with something, they discuss it with me. Or, you know, so mm-hmm. um, I, it's always just a reflection of life for me. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So the, uh, the, the, um, the first record you was talking about that, that just went gold. Uh, this is before social media when you did yeah. a lot of the live for that. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. Listen, man. Right there. That's back in the I desert, tell, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, these younger artists, I tell them, they really never know what promotion and marketing is as far as the, there you go. Far as the boots to the ground stuff we did, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, real for real. Man, I went city to city. CDs man. in the trunk. Yeah. yeah, man, I went city to city and sang that song and sold records. You know, back then there was a mm-hmm. such thing as record stores, and you would right, right. Your stuff, and yeah. you would go put a bunch of your CDs in the record store in this city, mm-hmm. and you would go perform that song, and they would sell, and you take that profit from that mm-hmm. show in those cities and go to the next city. And do yeah, the same do the thing, same, do it all over again, and and, so. and that's what we done. Two hundred thousand records later, man, it was it was a nice bidding war going on, and you know, and I tell people, you really have to be passionate about what you're doing in music. If you're not passionate about it, like, cause there were times the money wasn't good, right? There were times right. that, yeah, real talk. There were times right. that, you know, me and my band would be in one hotel room figuring it out. You know, mm-hmm. that, it, I, I've lived that. I paid my dues, and so I feel good about the blessings now mm-hmm. because okay. I feel like, you know, I'm not one of those artists that went viral overnight and didn't get out here and pay my dues to the game. For real. That's an important right. part. That's, dope. That's an important aspect. Uh, speaking of your, um, your band you mentioned, um, that's uh, 21, correct? Yes, sir. Shout out to 21. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to the boy. Yeah. Talk up. about what's that experience like working with a band, like, Oh man, um, I moved here to, I've been in Louisiana now for a year. And um, when I got here, I moved here from Charlotte actually. Um, and when I got here, I, I knew nobody. So it was like, okay, my band, my original band is in South Georgia. I'm here now. So I got to figure it out. And I met um, who's now my band director. His name is uh, Huncho, Herman Lazarus. He, um, 
I met him and he was coming by just strictly about playing a trumpet in my band. But when I met him, I found more than a musician. I found a business partner. I found, and from my mm. first conversation, we knew we were supposed to do something deeper than him playing a trumpet in my band. So he right. began to put the resources here I needed together, him being from here. And man, we put together some of the toughest musicians in Louisiana, man, and um, singers as well, background cool. singers. And, Wow. And we enjoy and the fact that you said the fact you said Louisiana, that's a big city when I mean well state as a whole when it comes to that type of music, that that band style they music and they, you know all that. Yeah, so that's yeah. I'm sure y'all doing your thing with that, man. Right. So with the ball, man. Yeah, with the with the band twenty one, so I, I take it that right now you guys this is uh who you're working with on the with the for the album the Hope She Knocks. Are they well, all, when I met the band and we got together, I was already over halfway finished. But now that I figure like I don't have a deadline, that's the best thing about being independent. I right. can take my time when I want to. You know, there you um, go. I'm glad I'm at that stage in my career where I do shows now when I want to, not because I have to. I, have to. <laughs> I need yeah, to. yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, so yeah. this, this mm -hmm. is the best part, I think, of my career, this stage where I can kind of you know, move by my own priorities, my own speed. So I'm going to slow down the album now to incorporate some of those guys because they're such great musicians. I really want that sound on the album. So right. I'm going to record mm -hmm. probably 10 more songs and pick out of the 20 okay. and put the album together. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, what's, uh, I'm sure it's going to be fucking great, man. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited. Sure it. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for you too, man. Just like I tell, like I say, man, all the fucking work, man, I so many albums, so many songs that stretch back for so far and so long ago, man, and and they all doing great. They all still fucking great yes, albums, indeed. man. They doing all numbers, yes, yeah, and they doing yes, good indeed. numbers, man. So you know, big mm -hmm. ups to you, multi, on that, man. Thank you. And um, what you got? Heart music. Uh, we got. Uh, I got pillow talk. Pillow um, talk. Yeah, nineteen. I got, um, nineteen tracks on that, man. Yeah, hearts on fire. Mm -hmm. And heart music. And heart music. And those, yeah. those three albums are out right now. Um, you can go get that. Um, the single, um, whatever. And my latest mm -hmm. single is entitled, excuse me, uh, "Well Wishes." Well wishes, yeah. Well wishes. We're, okay. gonna, we're gonna definitely get into that track soon here, mm -hmm. soon in a, in a bit ahead in the show. You know, let some folks hear that, man. Um, <clears throat> you gotta look right just with that right there, y'all. That's running up to just those few albums and, and the singles. That's close to sixty tracks of good music. Now, be careful. Yeah, you, 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 you fellas might go there and, and start having babies and, and, and pick up some more bills and just fucking with multi and the music. So, uh, y'all. Hey, uh, you know what the business is though. Um, the boy was just saying. The internet, anyway, was just saying ain't no such thing as R&B music no more. And look, we got yeah. a guy right there, like, oh, oh, you know what I'm saying, that's putting it, in the work. You feel me? Definitely, so, definitely yeah. think check all R&B music, man. Yeah, it's check my man out. Definitely think all R&B. I'll tell you that right now. So I got, I got, I got, I got a question for you though. What, what, what do you, what do you uh, prefer? Do you like the way it is now, as far as the streaming era, or do you prefer? Uh, how it used to be back in the G whenever you really touching down in these cities and communicating with the people and handing motherfuckers your CDs at clubs and shit like that and going to the going to the record stores, the mom and pop record stores and you wholesaling them, you know what I'm saying? You might get them uh, X amount of, of your CDs and then they sell, they take their little cut and then you get your, like which, which one you prefer? Well, I say this, man. Every 10 to 20 years, the music business goes through a change. And um, I remember when the game just abruptly changed into digital, and there was mm -hmm. no, you know, really a lot of mechanical sales. There was just online. You know, right now more right. people listen to music online than even the radio. You know, so, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. So right. to me, it was just a matter of stopping and figuring it out. You know, uh, we have to adjust with the times, and yeah. I think yeah. that. Indeed. What it done was gave artists a lot more power. Like, mm -hmm. there was a time that had there been an internet, I would have never signed a major deal in my life, you know? Right, um, right, right, out, right, right. Yeah. 
Shout out to Universal Records and, and all the great people there that because they definitely progressed my career. But mm -hmm. I would say, honestly, had there been social media in those days, I would have certainly stayed independent because you needed right. those guys to be mainstream. But now we have the yeah. power to be in every home in America. Yeah, that's the liberty. Yeah, that's the liberty of social. Yeah. 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 You can do it. Hey, that was that was that was major. Yeah. That was major right there though. What was your experience with Universal? Oh that was that was um, major right there. You can't just we well, can't just ride over that. Well, um let me tell you, see, okay, before I signed with Universal, if I sold a CD for five dollars, mm -hmm. because we would actually sell looking for love on a CD for five dollars. Mm. Right. <laughs> and so it wasn't like you could just go buy a song for 99 cents. We would have CDs. And I think the, digital, the difference is we manufactured the CD. We put money into creating the CD. Right. So we would sell Looking for Love. And every time I sold the CD for $5, I would make $5. So when I signed mm -hmm. with Universal, and now my album is in the stores for eighteen, nineteen dollars, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm standing at sixty cents, fighting them for a dollar and a half. Even though I wrote all the songs, I, I mean, everybody, yeah. it was yeah. so to me. I mean, what I'm saying, like, you know, you get, they gave me a hefty bag up front, more so for my publishing deal, because I signed a right. publishing deal as well as a recording deal. Uh -huh. So thank God for the publishing deal, because the recording deal itself, you know, they're going to, it wasn't an advance. It was, a, you know what I'm saying? I don't do advances. I don't. I would right. swim in nobody's debt when I'm doing good, you know. Absolutely. So, y'all hear that? Folks? But I should have. Mm -hmm. I think that the name, like honestly, let me say, giving away a lot of control. I had to agree with them about stuff instead of me just doing it. And mm -hmm. and I learned. I always want to be the captain of my own ship, and so we kind of had issues there. And yeah, um, you know, like. You mean like as far as like giving up control? As far as like, if 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 you you got a certain way that you make your music right, and then mm -hmm. them boys might come at you like, hey, we want you to do, we want you need one of these type singles or whatever hot at the moment. You know how them boys be like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Hey, hey, Nelly is hot or T Pain is hot, so we need you to have one of these type of singles because that works. Is that was that what you mean as far as like giving up certain control? Yeah, um, I always like my music. If I could say one word, it's honest. Um, mm -hmm. Like I've never painted pictures of other people. I've always stood right. on who I am when I write, and so there was not necessarily. I think that they understood that I was firm in that. So I personally never dealt with nobody trying to say, you know, be this person, that person, because I think they kind of got it that I'm pretty much gonna be what, who I am and um, mm -hmm. but being who I am like I said we all are a bunch of people in the course of a day we Thanks. go through certain yeah. moods in the course of a yeah. day right. and so on my album yeah. when you listen to my songs my songs aren't just in one mood that I'm in you know mm -hmm. um, one day I may say love her the next minute I may say I can't stand her the next minute Thanks. I might say Thanks. I mean because we all of those people and, and so if we really That's honest life. with ourselves you know, the same people that listen to Tennessee Whiskey probably was listening to NWA. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And we can yeah. and, and can agree. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think just being yourself is not a small box if you're honest. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Set a mouthful. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah, make proud. I can't even, uh, yeah, you, I can't even reiterate, man. That's just, that's cut and dry right there, right, man. You know, straight yeah, up. You set it up. Yeah, that, that's just cut and dry, man. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard for real motherfucker to be somebody else or speak for you know. And, <laughs> yeah, you just can't do it, bro. Nah, you know? nah. You people say, hey, I think that's one thing that's really been able to, and I'm grateful that been able to sustain my career throughout the years. Um, I feel very fortunate that I've been able to do this for twenty something years, and mm -hmm. yes, independently. Sir. Mm -hmm. Even although I give um, Universal credit for certain things they've done, I have, I have a very loyal support system of people. So, you know, throughout the years they've supported me, and uh, it, it's big, man. I, I always prefer to my fans. I changed that N to an M. I, I rather say fam because 
Like it's, been, it's, it's bigger than music. You know, I went through a, a tragedy in 2017, and um, I buried my son December 29th on his seventh birthday. Uh, yeah, bless. Yeah, bless. Yeah. And, um, condolences. Yeah. Condolences. Thank you. And I went through two and a half years of not doing anything, no music, nothing. I couldn't. And what brought me back, honestly, man, it was my family and going in my inbox, seeing hundreds of people every day encouraging me, saying, not not when we're getting some more music, but we're praying for you, we cover. And, right, and, right, and, right. And, and, you know, and, and, and so my, it, my fam, my fam hit different with me. You know right. what I'm saying? Then, yeah. The boy, so, the boy, been coming at you. The boy been coming at you more like the coming at the man rather than coming at the artist. Oh, you know what I'm and saying? that means like, everything. Man, this man going through something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. And we right here with you. Right, right. I did yeah, that. That, that was everything. That That's real said. shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, when yeah, I say yeah. team multi, man, what I mean, like real, you know, when I got a gold album, I made sure my fam knew like this. Or not this, not my album. This our gold album. We have a gold album. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, y'all done it. No sure. record company gave me this. Y'all gave me this. You know, so real talk, real talk. Literally yeah. put yeah. food on my children's table. You know what I mean? How could I yeah. not love y'all? Yeah. So hey, for real, for real. So, yeah, you ain't shit without respect, your fans, man. Much respect, and that's why, and that's why you know we try to express it for real here, man. On 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 the steel shop and steel shows that we we want people to know who this individual is rather than the mm -hmm. artist rather than the entertainer rather than the author the person rather than the, we want them to know the, the person and that's a big yeah. and that's that's one of the perks we have when we actually had to go out there do the footwork meet people shake hands um and, yeah. and, and get that experience of really meeting and creating fans and you create lifetime <clears throat> and long long-term fans that way um when people actually know who you are, met you, and uh, got that personal connection, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Those, you know, th those things that you can't really get from being able to stream an artist online and shit like that. You know, um, yeah. yeah, we had to put that work in. Get out there, march, city to city, state to state. Oh man, yeah, meet people for real, man. Re you know what I'm saying? And uh. And, and get that experience of it, and that's an important thing in uh, with, with with show business, especially man, and being an entertainer, man. It's a it's, it's a personal connection. When you got that with your fans, man, you got fans for life. You know, you know that's real good shit, multi man. And uh, that's yeah, it, man. yeah, that, bro. Uh, I remember when I um really like I had a hit song out, and. Everything was going great, and I was doing a lot of shows, but I still had this fear of, um, because I've always been so self-reliant that when it got to me doing this music, me being able to trust the system that I can I can rely on this. You know, like I had, I was doing music and doing things, but I had background plans. You know, I ain't always been a good fella. You know, I know how to work the scale too. You know what I'm saying? So we all right, 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 right. right. Say yeah, less, so, say less, say less. So, yeah. So what I'm it. saying is, when it got to a place of me saying, "Why well, I see that I can really, if I really does all the way commit to this, and be mm -hmm. true to this, that this gonna I'm gonna be okay." But well, you know, and um, and I thank God for giving me a song like "Looking for Love" because man, I think every artist want to make that record that'll be around long after you. And right, right, know, right. Yeah, I and agree. to be able to make a song 20 years ago, and <laughs> even today, you know, yeah. I have young folks hit me on TikTok in my DM who just heard it for the first time that fell in love with it. And, um, I read Natari from Power. Uh, what's her name? Tasha that played oh, Ghost yeah. Tasha. Yeah, recently yeah. I, did, I did Natari's wedding, and it was crazy the backstory because they told me that. Wow. Her, she took yeah, bro, why, why you try to roll over there like that's major? <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna run but, over there. But, you did Tasha with mean, but not so much. Roll that. Over there. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, if you did Tasha with it, we gotta talk about I, Tasha. Yeah, I, I couldn't we'll find come it. back. We'll come back. But I was I mentioned it just to say <laughs> yeah. that the backstory to the fact that her husband too said his mother was married to the song. And her mother was married to the song. Wow. And here they are, the next generation. That's dope. I'm just crazy. That's super dope. That's super dope. Yeah, man. I know you Lord. killed it. 
I tried Tell to me find you killed him. it. I, yeah, he did. I tried to find him. Yeah, that, remember? <laughs> We gotta get into that though. Like, how how did how how did that how how did that link up happen? Okay, well, um, she happens to be I, one yeah, of my I, feel like I ain't trying. I ain't trying to cut you, bro. I just want to say this one last thing because I feel like you gotta be a bad motherfucker if a if a singer have you sing a day wedding. Am I am I am I am I right in yeah. that or am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She was with she was with seven oh two, right? Nah, yeah. you tripping. She would thought I was uh uh 3LW. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but flexing. He didn't even know what group she was in. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. No, nah, yeah. that was that era when it was a lot of groups. Yeah. It was a lot of groups. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. that's when you yeah. had like, shout out to you. Yeah. And then when you talk even with male groups, you had like two seven, 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 seven and, and and, yeah, and all the white town and shit. Town. It was a lot of groups. Yeah, it was a, group, lot, yeah, it was, it was a big group era, man. Yeah. We had some good y'all music yeah. at those groups, so. though. Tripping. Y'all tripping. 702 been like when we was growing up. 3LW been like in like Bow <laughs> Wow and B2K days. That's like we was already growing, we was already right. growing up. And that whole, yeah, but that school yeah. was still kind of yeah. groupy around Ten, that time. 10, so. 10 years of group, of, of, of shitload of groups. There you go. And, and, there you and, go. Nobody on this panel was listening to 3LW. Nobody <laughs> on this panel. I dated check me on that. Nobody on this panel was listening to 3LW. Promises, that, promises. That was, we were Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I saw that video though, man, and um, of that wedding, and I, I tried to find it the other day. I can't remember who the celeb was at the time, but I went on, man, I went on your goddamn page, and I was scrolling. I said, "That man doing too much shit. I can't even find a goddamn video no more, man." That's, that that, that, that's that's show, they, that show a busy uh, that show a busy motherfucker man trying to get it. So, yeah. you know, much respect. I said, "Ain't that's no way that man cool. post this much shit <laughs> this fast." Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but yeah, that's who it was. And uh, yeah, cause I, I, I've been expressing. I said, "This is my boy Major, man." I said, uh, "I told G, I was like, man, I, I, I got with Mo time, man." And uh, I said, "Man, we gotta have yeah, him, man." Like hell yeah, man. man. Uh, <laughs> you know, so yeah, that's we, what, yeah, you know, man. yeah, we did some work back in the days too, man. You know, we yeah, still yeah, you mentioned it. Let me get old days, we got, yeah. We gotta find. We gotta dig that stuff up, man. Maybe we yeah, can, we gotta uh, we can, yeah. revamp them, man. That's you know the new day. Yeah, that shit. reprise that. Yeah, yeah all, yeah, all that good stuff, man. Yeah. All all those stuff was good, good, good jam. So, but yeah. So, hey, do you play any um? You play any instruments? I know you produce. Yeah, do you um, play anything? I, yeah, on my elf time, I actually uh, a lot of those records, man. Um, I played all the keys. Um. I, I teach piano my off time and vocal training. Um, oh, that's yeah, I, can, I, really I figure enjoy. piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Showed, yeah. he showed me a few chords back in the day. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. No yeah, cap. So, yeah, yeah, no yeah. cap. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's right. something I enjoy doing <laughs> teaching, man. Um, I teach yeah. piano and vocal training. I think in a couple of years I may even try to open a music school. And um, yeah, that'd be okay. cool. That'd yeah, be dope. yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Because we yeah, big man, on um, yeah, we big on that too, man. I kind of have a big desire to teach, but I remember when I was younger, when I uh, first discovered that music was in me the way it was, man, I remember running back to the block, telling my friends, I said, man, I, you know, you wanted to save the world because you didn't have to do certain things no more to get money. I was telling my friends, man, why y'all doing this? And blah, blah, blah. And one of my closest friends said to me, he said, I was young, man, like a preteen. And he said, um, you're going to play at church Sunday and make some money. He said, you're going to play at this country ball over here Wednesday night and make some money. You're going to play at the Holy Wall Friday and make some money. He said, I don't do that. And at that moment, I realized that God had given me an option. And so I tried yep. to give that option to many children as I can because oh, at the end of the day, you cannot tell a young person, don't get this money if you're not teaching them another way. Yeah, to get, that's it, the to really get some money. Yeah. That's yeah, and bro, that might that might have been the really shit that a guest does stay on this motherfucking pod right really? now, man. Really, man. Straight up, Deal yeah, I fuck with steel. Yeah, man. Deal yeah. Steel, bro. That's real. Deal That's real, steel, man. Yeah, that's the real yeah. shit I done heard on this podcast, bro. Yeah. Fact, facts, big facts, like for yeah. real. From yeah. all, in my opinion, that's the really shit I done heard. Yeah, and make that's all the sense in the world, man. That eliminate people being, you know, that eliminated motherfucker being judgmental. 
or yeah. put towards the motherfucker. You 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 knock all that shit out the box when you creating. Well, money. Not, well, nah, nah. You know the business. You know the business is right. You go through that when you when you when you go when you go through life and you have certain changes, like bro, say when you have options, and then you you might be on a whole nother lane as far as life concerned. But these other guys, they still doing whatever the fuck they were doing or whatever. They don't look at life the same way how you do. That's what I'm saying. That that that's that was some real shit, bro. That was some real. You kick some real man, shit just now. For real, man. Yeah. I, I met a partner um up here in Louisiana, and I, and I really keep my circle very small. But I met uh-huh. a partner up here, and um I told him like, look, man, you know I got a concert coming up, and my thing wasn't um come out and hang out. My thing was, I know what this man got going on. Come, come, come yeah. work security. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Work. Come do so something. Something. Yeah. something. Yeah. So yeah. I'm always trying to figure yeah. out how to incorporate, you know, everybody around me that can be an asset. And um, I think real. that's what's that's really. important. And that's what other cultures have done to elevate each other that we haven't. You know, I don't need to go yeah. hide no shooters. You know, a lot of people be paying people to go crash out for them. I don't need to go yeah, hide no shooters. Shit. Talk some shit then. Talk some shit then. No, nah, real talk. You know, I don't need That's nobody real. to crash out me. None of that. But if we could find a job, whether it's equipment manager for my band or is this a whatever it is, yeah. you know, let's yeah. figure it out, man. I like the heat. Yeah, right. I need that. a motherfucker to cook. I know you fuck with the grill. Nah, That's real. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? People cook. gave oh, me real. chances, man. Yeah. I wouldn't be here now if certain people didn't give me opportunities. So, for real, for real. I'm be, you know, I'm be, be real. Would none, of, would none of us, would none of us be on this motherfucker right now if it wasn't for opportunities and options? You dig what I'm saying? Because right. every, everybody on this panel done came from the darkest corners of or whatever the fuck, and mm-hmm. shit, shit be real. But then, uh, like I say, mm-hmm. when you got them opportunities and them options, like you saying, you got to take them, and you be blessed to even have them. That for real, for real. That. Damn, that's you know, real. I don't that's mean real, to, I don't that's mean I don't mean to, I don't mean to jump, but on the uh the 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 paper route, the young screws part, we we when we spoke about uh um people creating lanes and, and opening doors and, and putting the motherfuckers in the same room with a motherfucker right. that could potentially help them along the way. And we had a debate on if that was an important part, you know what I'm saying, of of of, of our community. Doing better and getting better, um, and uh, right. yeah, for the most part, man, yeah, we we just we were on the same shit because it does it does play a major part in the people progressing, people doing uh you know bigger things and meeting the right people, being able to shake certain hands to and uh so I guess in a nutshell, people do need people, man. You do need people to sometimes that maybe uh hold your hand, man, and, and help you along the way, man, to get to a better place, man. So. You do, you but do, you just can't. I'm oh, sorry, there, there has to be a balance to needing. So, there has to be a balance to needing people too, right? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you what I figured mm-hmm. out. I remember going through a series of bad business, right? And what I mm-hmm. realized in the midst of that was this: every one of those people who tried to do bad business, I said, you know what? I went into a business agreement with them. So the answer to that was. Honestly, like when you're trying to make a record, trying to market a record, have your own bag. If you got to rely mm-hmm. on other people, like investors in the back of the day used to invest money and be quiet. And then mm-hmm. you do what you do and bring the money back. But now people are so attached. Ain't quiet no more. If I put a if I put a dive into this, I want a shot call. I want to make decisions mm-hmm. about something you've done forever yeah. that I haven't. I want to mm-hmm. out talk you in the meetings. Mm-hmm. No, okay, let me just get my soul. It's good. You're going to need people, but in this business, two artists that's listening, mm-hmm. get your own bag so you don't have to be relying on people for their money when you get ready to make moves. Right. Like, yeah. for real, for real. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's I'm going to be real. Important. That's all I was saying in the last jump is, 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 you know, it's supposed to be. Like how we saying previously, it's supposed to be like that. Like one one hand wash the other type shit. Mm-hmm. But in reality, 
it, it really not like that. You can't you can't you can't expect a motherfucker to do this or do that. You gotta nah, go nah, out there. You should, yeah, you should never you should never be you know dependent on, on, on the on the next man. Yeah. You know you gotta go out there and get it on your own. No now, means, now, if it, yeah. if it so if it just so happens to where you run across a guy who fuck with you and fuck with your talent and fuck with your movement, then it's like hey, we could we could do good business together. That's cool. But for the most part, a lot of these cats out here, and, and, and you know, you got to get it on your own, bro. Yeah. Everybody yeah, starts off cool, bro. Everybody starts off cool at the beginning, right? Thanks. And so, Thanks. with that being said, like with me, I'm very strategic about who I partner with now because of experience. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very um, strategic about anything involving money and business, who I yeah. move with. Because, mm -hmm. um, let me tell you, man. Um, it's some people out there, man, that you you can know somebody your whole entire life and feel like this person will not cross me, but money changed things. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, yes. and, and yeah. I, when, I, <laughs> when I tell you, I had to learn over and over. It don't matter if y'all some kin. It don't none of that matters when it comes man. to business, man. And, um, hey, the kid, the kid, the kid yeah, will probably be the first one to get you. Straight up, man. He'd be the first one come for your motherfucking man. <laughs> for real. Yes. Yeah, days, yes, yeah, man. For real. For real. You got to be real careful, so, man. That's where it start, man. You know, everybody ain't, ain't cut out to be independent. Some people need major labels. Like, if you ain't really no hustler like that, for real. And, like, if you... Let me say this. If you a rapper and you used to trap and you weren't successful in the streets, you might want to go with a major record company. Because you, you ain't got that hustle game about you to win, you ain't gonna win it this easy. Like I never stopped hustling. I just mm -hmm. changed product. That's it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Keep, keep oh. Like I, I never stopped right. hustling. Mm -hmm. and, and I can say right, like a lot of people can't say certain things. Like I'm gonna post this on my page. A lot of people on my page is from my home city. It's certain things you can't lie about. You understand what I'm saying? Thanks, Everybody knows thanks. that I was gonna be okay in the music business. Because if I can win this, I can win this. Right. If I can sell you something to kill you, I can sell you something to heal you. That's it. If, when, I, when I figured out it was more people on music than dope, that's when I changed the product. Game changer. Game changer, hey, talk, homie. You know what I'm saying? Game talk, 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 talk. Right. Yeah, just real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. This nigga don't only say, this nigga only saying he spit game. So if y'all ain't listening out there, y'all better be all that damn here for you know, yes, that, that, that's real though. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. I knew I'd fuck with you. Uh, hey. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you too, bro. Uh, who your who your favorite? Who is your who is your favorite R and B singer? I, I guess I'm asking as far as like inspiration and all that shit as well too. That's out right now. Who your guy? Who your go to? No, I mean like period. Who your go to? Oh, who your go to? Oh, I would say um. Uh, First of all, the all greatest right. vocalist I ever heard was my father. He, the late Damn. Reverend Lee Coleman, was my father. Okay, that's the okay. biggest Respect. vocalist I ever heard. Now, if Respect. we talk about the music industry, I remember yeah. seeing Luther Vandross make every make every woman in my house be quiet every time he came across the screen, <laughs> and, that, and and me watching that, like wow, <clears throat> you know that's that's. That's powerful to me. And when I can powerful. see him standing in yeah. one spot on the stage, he don't have to spin on his head. This man can stand in one mouth, spot. Man. I hear the dog was dancing or nothing. He ain't had no dance moves or nothing. That motherfucker just been standing right there. One man, microphone yeah. in one hand. And yeah. <laughs> hey, word, word. Powerful. Word. I didn't think about word. that. You're right. You're right. Now, That's my favorite crazy. songwriter, because I tell people, um, I remember being announced one time on the show. And they said singer songwriter, and I said I think I'm actually songwriter singer. I don't think I'm a singer that writes. I think I'm a writer that just happens to sing. Mm -hmm. Talk about it, bro. I sing most days. I write every day. Um, That's true. and there was a guy, and his name is Edwin McCain. He was raised in Charleston. Um, lives in hmm. Greenville, South Carolina, right now, and um, hmm. he has a song on the pop charts. That that was called I'll Be. You know, y'all gotta research that song, man. Hit huge hit. But anyway, when I used to be getting dressed for school, I hear those words to that song I'll Be, and it made me decide to be a songwriter because I've never heard nobody talk like that before. 
the that's lyrics dope. he used that's inspired dope. me. So to now be able to work with him, we just released a song together. Um, yes. I wrote a hit yeah. for him. I mean, like, we get ready to tour together. Like, it's crazy, you know? And I'd be like, man. And, and, and the first song we wrote about is on that, that we got out. Y'all can find that on YouTube, multi Edna McCain's. It's entitled Good Enough. But the song is about racism because um, he heard me on the radio while he was in the same city playing. And um, we had a mutual friend that wanted us to write together. So they, they put us together and I'm intimidated because here's somebody who I've looked up to from a child as the writer wow. of writers. And he's saying, write right. a song with me. I want me and you to write a song together. That, that was crazy. So I get down. Right. And that I'm trying crazy. to figure out. I, I used to like that. I like to hang with an artist a couple of days before I write to kind of figure out who they are and what moved mm-hmm. them as a person so the song can connect. And um, yeah. I remember he, I, I was telling him about an experience <laughs> that I had in a nightclub where I used to perform at this country bar. And um, the white people in the establishment was cool with us performing. But the night that I sat down and decided we're going to have a drink, we're not just going to get off the stage and walk out the door. It was, right. A lot of violence happened that night. I had a friend who, Damn. he passed away now, but he was a um, yeah, yeah. brother that loved singing country as well as I did. And and we went through a whole lot of stuff that night. And I was sharing this story with Edwin when we were together. And his reaction, and I was saying, now here go this white man, this mm-hmm. moved by what happened. Like, see, to me, let me tell you something, y'all, we are a product of our experiences. I won't say environment, experiences. And I, had prior exper- and I had had prior experiences going up in South Georgia that when I saw this white man, I tell this story to you, and he's this moved and disturbed by what we went through. I knew what to write about, you know, right. because here's somebody who's so nonchalant. I couldn't figure him out. He's a free-hearted person. He, um, he has everything. What do you write about? I can't he's talk not, about he's not struggles. Like, not like any other any other white dude that you ever met before. And he changed my way of thinking, man. He he literally changed mm. my way of thinking. And and meeting him taught me that all white people ain't bad and all black people ain't good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, part. Yeah. That part. Yeah. Yeah. That part. Yeah. 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 yeah and a lot of people, a lot of people of both colors need to realize that shit too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I was thanks. Thanks. Of both, of both, of both. Yeah, and the yeah, opposite, yeah, yeah. and the opposite yeah. way around. Like the, that the, the, real, the realization yeah. that the realization that mm-hmm. that shit alone could change the world. Yeah, yeah. The it shit in that shit at all. In an instance. Just like that. World, yeah. Like Thanos. Mm-hmm. Snap the finger. And then that's shit. real. Everything different. And it's that simple. Real shit. Man, if we that's really real. learn how to love each other, man, um, and, and see paths, like you said, we see another man Speak standing on. right there, not a black man or a white man, but we could actually see another Person. man standing there. But I understand mm-hmm. that it takes time to heal from things. Like, you know, we what we've been through as black people, I understand some of our mindset of we still healing, man. You know, mm-hmm. if you from the south, your great great grandmama was a slave. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So this yep. is this ain't yeah. like this something happened millions of Most times, healing. most times, even if you're from the north, some of them people who migrated and made it out, some of the grandmamas were still oh, down oh. there or died down so, there. Yeah. Yeah. All them boy, yeah. all the boy, grandma was from Alabama, from Tennessee, from Mississippi, from Georgia, South Carolina. Yeah, man. Right yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Virginia, sure. Virginia, yeah. right? Yeah, big absolutely. Facts, man. Big facts. And then too, absolutely. you know, like I said, man, um, I I be wanting to address a lot of stuff that people want to focus on. Like, I I really hate police genocide, and I really hate. All these things that's happening, you know, the, the mm-hmm. racism. But honestly, until we until we learn to love each other more than we hate racism, you know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, right. until we get to that no, place, mm-hmm. yeah, that's it. yeah, it's, brother. It's, it's not at home, and y'all. When we say home, we don't mean I don't mean Mike crib. I don't mean Mother crib. I don't mean Mr. Thomas crib. Or yeah. Mr. Holmes crib. When we say home, yeah. we mean as a whole us. 
Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we got a we got a ride for, for 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 us. You know what I'm saying? And with, I tell my brothers talk that love and talk that loyalty, shit, and they and they and they they they, they, they play on these words so much and so casually. You know what I'm saying? But you know the reality of it is, it ain't enough of that. You know, it ain't enough of that. The love word and, and real love and real loyalty in, in our community. And uh, you know that that would that's what's keeping us back um, from progressing and doing a lot of shit, folks, our peoples. You know what I'm saying? Bro, do you realize that we the only race of people that make music disrespecting our women and talking about killing each other? Like, you know, we the only race that do that. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> I ain't exactly. never heard a Spanish song where a woman had to be a, bu- a bitch, a thot, a hoe. I ain't never heard what? a country what? song about killing. I mean, they're not singing about shooting each other. I will say this though: you Talk got, you got, you got white motherfuckers, and you got Spanish motherfuckers, and whoever the fuck that grow up in that might grow up in the same type of condition that we grew up in. And they do the same mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. They do the same but I'm shit. Saying, it just, it but just, they're not, just, they're not, not culturally not. making right. music about it, what I'm saying. We, right, we right. have no, you right. in our culture like that mm-hmm. as... See, you got to understand, like, you know, anybody that's 40 plus can say, I remember a day where you bet not call a woman a bitch. For real, for real. But I remember a day and, you bet not call a black woman a bitch. Somebody hey, knock hey, you hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, come, I, come, from, I come from them days too. I got, I, I got, I got a motherfucking single called Bitch. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. if, 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 you, if you a bitch, you a bitch. I ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with black women. That got something to do with just women, period. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you one of them, you one of them. You dig what I'm saying? Same way, same mm-hmm. way, like, if, if, if if you a fuck nigga or whatever the case may be, you one of them. That ain't got nothing to do with if you. That ain't no black thing. I think we 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 put black on everything. I mean, but like we I, think, put, I think what a man in the songs though, you know what you know what the bitch in the song means, and and and, and, and nine times out of ten, it's gonna if you listen maybe to you rap don't. or hip hop, it's gonna be talking but about maybe you a don't. black and, woman. Maybe, and maybe you think you t- right. Maybe you think like it's like mm-hmm. black woman, right? That's what I'm I mean, saying. but, but you why know, do and, you put black on everything? And, and any in any sense though, your song, bitch, can be taken in perspective all kinds of angles because you talking about you can be talking about niggas, you can be talking about you can be talking but, about. But what I'm what I'm, talk, is, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is it might not it might not be it might not be taken like that. Like bro, make a lot of sense though because right. when you hear the song, you might uh, just automatically think like he talking about black women. Cause he, cause he black. You feel what I'm saying? I could a white or, could be or, to this song. I might, I might be talking about white motherfuckers. Well, I think that when when you look at where it comes from, like where who starts this, like it comes from us. We we was the the wave flaggers of that. You know, like yeah. I said, I came from that hey, era hey, where. Hey. I right, came right. from that era where you were not to do that, but yeah, now things you can do. Now you call a bitch, they twerk to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what I'm Thanks. saying, Thanks. and Thanks. so our women have come so accustomed to being disrespected till they had to embrace it. That's yeah. kind of what we did with the word. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like, but, are, we, but are we are we going are we going to add like are we going to add like in the nineties? I'm talking about early nineties too. Now are we going to add like it wasn't no such thing as free nick? He's saying he's saying what he's saying is for us who's like 40 plus. There was that time before the freak Nick era and all of that shit where you couldn't say the word. You couldn't call it woman. If you did you, man, remember the times of a nigga disrespected a woman. If you fought, if call, you fought, if you fought, everybody if you probably fought, his ass. Everybody if probably you fought, on. If, if you 40 plus, if you 40 plus, and I'm talking about you, that plus is a is a is, is a thing though. That's the thing. I'm talking about if you 50, 60 or something like that, maybe yo, maybe that that may that might be that may be so. But like if you just like a little bit over 40, nigga, you was like a young boy whenever a freak nigga was coming on. Yeah, I mean you know that, whenever freak nigga yeah, was going that, on. That, that's you know when the time, that's when the time <laughs> that's changed, you know. The music was shifting, you know. But you got you, you still gotta think like Rock Him and, 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 and uh Eric B and them guys how they was rapping. You, you gotta think like Uncle Luke. Right. Uncle Luke, yeah, too you, short. 
man, man, AMG. Okay, let me show you AMG. something about words. Let me show you something about words, man. My daughter came to me one day, and she mm -hmm. said, um, "Okay, is this unedited? We can use whatever language we want to, right?" Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you good? Okay, so my daughter came to me and she said, "That don't be single forever." And I said, "Why you say that?" And she said, "Cause niggas ain't no good." And I said, okay, oh, let me show you how to damn. categorize that. But then what I told her, I said, mm -hmm. that's your problem. See, niggas do nigga shit. You about to talk mm -hmm. you about to talk so what, what yeah, I told yeah, her yeah, was, yeah. you got categories of people that belong together. You got niggas mm -hmm. and bitches. You got hoes mm -hmm. and pimps. Talk about it. Talk about it. Bro. You got kings and queens. You got, mm -hmm. you got people that you got to stay in your category. A lot of people don't find themselves being a man trying to date a bitch, and that turned them into a nigga. Mm. <laughs> so what I'm saying mm. is, the, every every nigga was once a man that got hurt by a bitch. So Thanks. what I'm saying is, Thanks. you have to stay in your flock of who you are. That's like me, you know what I'm saying? Every We got to know that every male operating in male is not a man. A man Thanks. is something Thanks. we grow into. Some people out here Thanks. just operating Thanks. in male. And so what I try to teach my daughter is you have to know who you are and which category you belong. And, mm -hmm. and one way that I'm persistent with her and my nieces, when they call them, I ask them a question. I say, what's your name? Because I taught them that everything you do in our culture becomes your first name. Somebody might say, you know, Tony, Tony who? Drunk ass Tony. Tony. Yeah. You know, yeah. she, mm -hmm. she you know, Sheila who? Lying ass Sheila. Whatever you do in our community becomes your first name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I call yeah. them, I ask them, what is their name? And they tell me they progress from there, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So I need to, I need, when I That's go good. to my hometown, I say, do you know, when I call my niece's name, they'll say, oh, them singing girls, I can live with that. They ain't saying, yeah, oh, you talking about whole yeah. ass Livia. Mm -hmm. You talking about, they ain't saying that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's that was, uh, but like I said again, I heard you say that was dope. Home, everything that was dope. begins at home. You know what I'm saying? Who you gonna be in the streets? Start on the other side of your door at home. For real. Yes, you sir. know what I mean? Yes, what sir. you see, what you absorb there. And I thank God that I had a mother and a father that before I went on the block, I didn't go on the streets looking for my identity. I had some mm -hmm. of my friends that went in the streets looking for an identity. Trying right. to find who they were, find guidance. I thank God every day that He put me in a household of people that gave me an identity before I walked out. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. for real. For real. Nah, that's real. That's super real. That's yeah. super real right there. Why? Yeah. I've been Why? blessed. Yeah. yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, but that means yeah. shit, man. That's all real shit, though. That shit start right where you at, man. And you know, we 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 got to. You know, the we talk about it, the village is supposed to raise the kids, man. And now in this day and age, it ain't a village. It ain't too many villages left. So, you know, for for the folks out here that's, you know, trying to remain and build villages and keeping and uh, you know, keeping the youth straight and doing the community services and the good deeds and and and, and uh giving some kids some opportunities and shit, man. That's the shit we respect right here on the Triple S show. On that, and on that tip, on that okay, I'm that sorry, is. go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm just I'm just gonna ask why why do y'all think that is like that that um because you know it was a time like when we were growing up to wherever, like I say, if I was out here doing some shit that I know I ain't had no business doing and I get caught, this motherfucker down the street gonna beat my ass. The, the next door neighbor gonna beat my ass, and then when I get home, my mama gonna beat yeah, my yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, you gonna get your ass. So, so all yeah, I'm gonna get down the block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 yeah. so, why do y'all think it's not so much like that now? Oh man, I mean, back you know, coming up, man, people, people cared, man. Now yeah. people you don't, don't think people care no more. There's, there's no compassion. You don't think people there's, care no, no more? there's no compassion no more because the, instead of when we was coming up. If you was doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing, somebody was was mm -hmm. mature enough to stop you or discipline you from doing what you was doing. Now that right. the, the, the people around who would have been disciplining and, and, and encouraging you to do the right thing instead of the wrong thing, they're gonna be out there with their cell phone ready to post you doing the shit you ain't supposed to be doing. You don't right. have mm -hmm. nobody out this motherfucker that's taking initiative on uh, stepping up to the plate. 
the same. Same, bro. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, I mean, since we, we're talking about, uh, you know, good music and all, my man, Multi, man, before we get into to well wishes, man, how about you just play a little something, man, and show off them vocals and shit, man? You hey, man, I'll do something, man. Where, uh, uh, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here at my piano, so. Yeah, um, there's a song I was humming earlier. Um, it's the song by Billy Joel. And um, he was talking about Sometimes somebody may say, a woman may say, what's your favorite quality about me? And sometimes you have an answer and sometimes you don't. You know what I mean? So he wrote this song and it says, um, <laughs> she's got a way about her. Mm, don't know what it is, but I know that I can live without her. She's got a way of pleasing. Oh, don't know what it is, but it doesn't have to have a reason anyway. She's got a smile that heals me. Oh, don't know what it is. But I have to laugh when she reviews me. She's got a way of talking. Oh, ooh, don't know what it is. But it lifts me up when we are walking anyway. The song right quick. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Word. So um Word. yeah, man. Like I said, I'm a fan of words. I'm a fan of lyrics and um and being able to now work with some of my favorite writers and write with some of my favorite writers is incredible. And um yeah, man. I'm just having a great time these days, man. Um enjoying music now and, and don't have to feel the stress of the the industry. I can put out my album now when I want to. I can, you know what I'm saying? I can move accordingly. You know? yeah, and I'm enjoying real, it, real. man. Yeah, I'm in cruise so control so. and letting God drive. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you get a lot of genuine, genuine music like that, man. You get a lot of genuine stuff, Word. man. A good, a good feel. Eliminate the pressures, man. And, uh, you know, like the, like the motherfucking ocean, man. When it, when it come in, it come. And when it go out, it go, man. Yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. I ain't trying to control the weather. That's it for real. For real. What would be? What would be? What would be some? Uh, some? 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 Some cats that you would want to get into the lab with and, and, and write with? Like some of your, some of your, in your mind, like some of your favorites and who you like. You had the opportunity, you would want to get in the lab and write, write with them. Um, R and B wise, I like John Legend. Um. I don't really have a long list of people. Um, I, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, man. My friends bug out when they get in my truck because I'm, I'm playing a lot of country music these days. Um, because as a mm -hmm. writer, as a writer, country is doing what R&B used to do, kind of saying things that hit the, the soul. And you know, okay. um, R&B has become so tangible. There's no creative writers anymore. I don't a lot. I'm gonna say that's not any. I'm sorry. There's not a lot mm -hmm. of creativity i think in r&b and um in the wordplay in the story right. um, and so right. as a writer i find myself i listen to a lot of country lately um working with a great country artist right now his name is kirk J. am getting ready to uh, write a song for him he's amazing talent he, uh, he was on the voice and he's doing great things in country music um uh, shout out to that brother um yeah man and like i said working with edwin now and just having a great time, man. Awesome producer named Larry Chaney, um, who's legendary um, in that game, and he has been helping me with my new album, and it's amazing working with him. And um, I'm gonna oh, bring, definitely man, bring go. 21, my band, along and work with them as well. And, hey, man, we just having fun right. going yeah, state yeah. to state right now, man. Yeah, 21. You know, yeah, man. Yeah, don't That's forget, real. don't forget Charleston, man. You know. So I hope, oh yes, I hope man. you got. The, I got. You got the home team in in, in, uh, in the on the calendar, man. 
at uh, some point. Uh, I know they'd love to see you back down there doing anything, man. And uh, yes, man. Yeah. Know. Matter of fact, man, I'm putting up my things to do list. I'm setting up something in Charleston soon. Um, I haven't performed down there in forever, so yeah, definitely, definitely will be coming soon. You put the put that put that beat in. We'll come down there. We're gonna rock with you. Yeah, we're rolling on you. We're rolling on I you. I got to put call somebody down there I got that know what's going on right now, what the hot spots is and all that. Yeah. So. I might put you down with a guy. Um, I'll, I'll get you a call. I'll get you his contact, man. I know somebody. He know the bit. Yeah. He know, know the bit. Awesome. 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 Love them Geechee contact. women down there. Oh, they are there. <laughs> Absolutely. They're there for you, Motai. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. yes. So, yeah, yes, man. Yes, sir. So that's, like I said, man, Motai, it, you know, this is an, an, an absolute pleasure, man, to have you sit down with the Triple S show, bro. I mean, um, enjoyed it. Yeah, already. And uh, but before we go out, man, we got this track, uh, "Well Wishes," um, yeah. a single you promoting right now. Um, that's uh, okay. Yeah, tell tell us a little bit about that before we get into into that track, man. Before we go, that's what we're gonna actually roll out with today. We're gonna do it a little different for the Triple S show. Um, you know, closing out. So that's going. That's gonna take us out of here, man. Let's talk about this this track for a little for a little minute. Uh, well wishes might be the most honest song I ever wrote. Um, I wrote it because I had a friend and um, he was cheated on by his wife, and when he found out, man, I mean, when I say cheated on, man, some of the most disrespectful. He was, mm -hmm. and so long story short, I went by to see him the day after he found out. And he looked me in my eyes and he said, "I wish her the best." And I said, no, you don't. Like, when somebody break your heart, you just don't hope they win the lottery the next day. And every time Hell somebody man. wish, and every time somebody give people well wishes, they don't mean it. So what I yeah. done, I wish. think every man has had a broken heart at some point. I stood in that Thanks. place again, and I said, I'm going to speak honestly about this heartbreak. And so when I wrote well wishes, it's me honestly standing in that place again of how I felt, reliving it, feeling it again, and was able to do a song that I said, this is the most honest breakup song ever written. Damn, I like it already. Yeah, for real. For I ain't even never heard it. I like it already. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, check Thanks. it out, man. Hey, he, he, sold, he, sold, he sold the shit out of that single right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, 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 me, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, folks, y'all don't have a chance to listen to it, man. But hey, listen, this is the Triple S Show, the Steel Shop and Steel Show. Check my boy out, Mr. Thomas at 843 Mr. Thomas. Check my boy out, Kenny Fly Homes at OTS underscore F L Y. And check my man out, Motai at Motai yeah. Music. Capital M U L dash Capital T Y Music with a K. Y'all listen to this goddamn well wishes, man. Y'all have a good night. We appreciate y'all. Blessings. Jay, what's up? What's up, man? What a good man. You took long enough, man. Oh, man. You know y'all traffic crazy up here, man. Man, I already got the drinks and everything. Y'all already know how it is. I got the special. Yeah, man. Got the special. Yeah, you know, I need that. I need that. Hey, how you doing, boy? All right. Yeah, I can flare. I'm single. You know what I mean? Uh, well, in that case, I can do it too because I'm single. No, what? What happened with you and old girl, man? Nah, it ain't nothing major, man. I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, I hope it ain't like that, cause I know you coming to my show Friday, but I invited her too. Yeah, I didn't. Wow, bro. I mean, it's all good, but you know, I ain't got nothing against her. How you holding up? It's good. It's good. I mean, I love her, but I wish her well. You know, well wishes, man. That's all I can do. Hey, well wishes. Love it. I hope your pillowcases are wet too I hope you try to hold it inside Putting on the front just like I do I hope it all spills out at night Cause I've been crying All by myself
can haunt you So I hope my memory lives in your mind I hope you change the station like I do Every time my song plays at night And when you all alone, I hope the feeling's just too much And when you lay awake, I hope you miss my touch Don't wanna be crying All by myself